Two policemen and eight others have been arrested by the Rapid Response Unit of the Forestry Commission in the Juaboso district of the Western North region. They include four Chinese nationals identified as Menxing Yu, 30, and Wen Yong Cheng, 30, and Wen Fu Ling, 58, and Li Ping, 60. There are four Ghanaian collaborators, Edward Owusu, 25, Kwesi Frank, 42, Abdul Dramani, 41, and Joe Naburi, 27. The two police officers, Detective Sergeant Yahaya Andrews and Lance Corporal Azentilo, believed to be protecting them, were also arrested at the mining site inside the forest reserve. During interrogation, Detective Sergeant Yahaya Andrews told the team that Chief Inspector Duse Nega ordered them to patrol the Kokosua Forest Reserve close to Asempanie, where they are stationed. The joint operation conducted on Tuesday, December 12, by the Rapid Response Unit and the District Forest Management of Juabuso also saw the burning of 10 excavators used by the miners. The Kokoswa Forest Reserve has come under siege recently by legal miners who have already destroyed large parts of it. And it's one of the many forests during uses of Rasasa Saridonko has reported on extensively in its forest under siege and poison for gold documentaries necessitating the recently held joint news national dialogue on illegal mining. I've been joined, thankfully, by Rasasa Saridonko uh, for more on the th and also gauge the mood of a security analyst, Adam Bona on this development. Let's start with you, Rastas. Rastas, this comes as welcoming, uh, considering the uh, kind of devotion you've given to the subject. Exactly. And I must say that is uh, welcoming news. Uh, the war that the Forestry Commission has recently uh, waged, um, uh, though it has been long in coming, uh, it is welcoming to know that they are now putting together uh, their own rapid response team, and they are moving from forest reserve to forest reserve, um, trying to flush out uh, these uh, nature criminals. Um, recently, they, they've been to some other forest reserves. Um, in the past three weeks, uh, they've been to that <coughs> other river forest reserve, uh, where they also destroyed a number of excavators and arrested some people as well. They've been to the Bakwai area where uh, they've also seized a number of equipment as well. So this was yesterday. And remember, this Kukusia Forest Reserve um, is part of the areas that we had wanted to visit. But in fact, we were told uh, point blank by our security observers that it was too dangerous. Uh, there were armed bandits. Uh, within the forest who, were, who will not hesitate to hurt anybody uh, who tried to, you know, venture into that particular area. So we could not go. Remember at Emrewa, a similar thing is happening there at Sahirano, close to uh, the Sashi uh, area, the Bisho area. There were a number of people as well in that area. So this is one area that we really had wanted an intervention. So I'm very happy that uh, that intervention has started. Uh, we are yet to see whether it will be carried out to the other ends of the Kokushia Forest Reserve that is currently under siege. I want you to paint a picture uh, for us on how uh, the situation looks like in the Kokushia Forest. I mean, how bad is the situation there? Well, so um, based on the information that we've been served and the videos and pictures that uh, my informants in the area keep sending to me a large uh, tract of the forest land has been destroyed already. And you have uh, more Chinese nationals in there uh, using heavy equipment to mine within the forest reserve. And all these people do not have any form of um, license or any, uh, you know, entry permit from the Forestry Commission uh, to enter the forest to do uh, that kind of um, mining. And uh, we were told, indeed, by my informant, that these groups working within the Kukushia Forest Reserve have the backing of very serious political actors. And so we have been given a lot of names 
and we were trying to work our way around it on how to uh, go in there and, and, and film. But each time we were told that, uh, you know, there are people who are hanging around, observing movement in the area, and uh, these are not people who are joking, so it won't be easy to do that. So I must say that the devastation to biodiversity is, is, is so much. Um, forest guards in the area have been threatened so many times, uh, they are even afraid to, you know, go after them. So this time around it took, um, you know, the mobilization of forest guards from different, different areas uh, to put together this particular ra rapid response team to be able to do this job. Uh, is also on with us. Doc, uh, I'm grateful for your time. Now, policemen have been arrested and they've explained that they were uh, deployed by a higher officer, a commander, to actually go and protect the illegal miners. Surprised? Morning, Aisha. I am not surprised. I am not surprised because uh, some for, for some of these security officials, for some of these police officers, they rather would want to see a rotten police service than a police service that is effectively managing crime and effectively dealing with uh, the illegal mining in our country. But let me also congratulate uh, you know, your colleague, uh, Erastus. I think he's doing marvelous, you know, marvelously well when it comes to the issues of uh, illegal mining in this country. Other media personnel have been involved, but you can single him out and, and say he's done so well and probably if uh, Ghana was a serious country, maybe we would, have, uh, we would have created an institution around persons like Erastus because he's been very unrelenting. You know, even though the terrain of illegal mining is, is vicious, violent, chaotic, he's, you know, stayed the course. And so for me, I'm not, I'm not surprised at all uh, obviously, there will be involvement of other personalities. The scope of uh, investigation should be widened. We know, it is tried knowledge, when the former local government minister actually said, I heard you have said, DCEs are involved. They should broaden it. Regional ministers are involved. It should be broadened because then our forest cover is getting destroyed. Police officers who are supposed to be protecting the you know uh, criminal you know protecting the environment protecting this uh, our forest cover are the people who are also involved and now they are mentioning what's the name uh, a senior officer obviously every police officer in this country is accountable when i say it's account it, it, you, you 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 we have to account they are supposed to be accountable to somebody if you are doing a head count if you go to that area they are under a certain district commander, a certain divisional commander, a certain regional commander. And so if you look at their mode of deployment, un unless you are on leave, every day if you are supposed to work for eight hours, there is a book, there is a, a you know, a, a station, a, a station book where you enter your name, where you went to, what time you came back. And so they should broaden the scope. And for these officers, it's a shame. And I do know that the IGP has been very uh, swift when it comes to dealing with some of his own. And these people should, should be punished severely. They should face the law courts together with all the people involved. And it should just not be limited to what's the name, just the police officers. I am telling you that there is no way these things can take place without the involvement of, you know, the district, you know, uh, the, the, the district security council. Because the district security council, who is usually chaired by the district, the district, uh, what's the name, chief executive, the, the municipal, and the rest. These are persons who we know that some of them are involved. In this particular one, I'm not involved. But what I will say is that I will be surprised that they, these guys probably have been mining. For how long have they been mining in this forest? And so I'm waiting for one person to come and tell me that the, the district chief executive in the area does not know that this mining is going on. If he can come and say that he's not aware of the mining going on in that area, in his locality, then I will say he's not fit for the job and he should be fired. Because mm. then, and for the district, the district police commander, 
the divisional police commander, the regional police commander. You think all of them should be summoned for interrogation, if you ask me, Aisha. I'm grateful for your time, Dr. Adam Bonai, security analyst. Er Rasa Sasari Donko also joined us earlier with how bad the situation looks in that forest. And there is more we're doing here uh, at Joy News for you on illegal mining. Definitely, we need to see the end of this. this